meet her. She's like, I'm having you for I'm dinner. Like, <laughs> you guys are freaking hilarious. <laughs> You're so fucking oh random. Gosh. Okay. All right. Let's Do get into the episode. Okay. Five seconds of quietness. Welcome back, OSLP family. Welcome, welcome. You are listening to Our Sleep Life, Life Presents. The Bariatric Diaries with Christy. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey. I'm back. Guess who's back? Yeah. Three <laughs> yes, three months, man. Yes. Three How did months. we get here? <laughs> How did we like, get here? I don't know. I feel like I woke up and I'm like, dang, I feel like I just got off the surgery table. This is right. Kind of blinking by. That's a good and a bad thing. Right? You know? Seriously. You're like, I have so much time. And then you're like, oh shit, I'm already three months in. I know. Yeah, when we were like yeah. booking it. I was like, oh my God, it's already Christine's three months. We have to get her in. We have to get her in. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah. The time really flew, but I had such a good time with you ladies um, last yeah. time. Oh, we did too. Everybody loves you. Yeah. They oh, that's love so you. I'm like, I feel love bomb because af- after the episode posted, like yeah. people were DMing me, and I'm just like, this is, it's like everybody stop, okay, please. Oh, that is please. so cool. You know, they're just like, you're so no, cool you so cool, and I love. I'm just like, <sighs> you are. You're amazing. I, know, but I, I'm working through this thing where I don't realize what a lot I don't see what a lot of people see in me mm-hmm. you know like a lot of times I'm just talking and I'm just saying what comes to my mind what comes to my heart mm-hmm. and it just resonates with people but when people like are like you're a light and you're I'm just like it makes me feel yeah. pressure to live up to that because I'm just like I'm just freaking winging it like I don't think don't come to me thinking I have the answers because honey don't look at my paper uh-huh. I, don't I don't have them I don't have the answers okay but you do but you do yeah just you talking yeah. just you being yourself inspires people yeah you're already that light for them you just have to be you you don't yeah. have to do anything you extra. don't have to change anything you yeah. don't have to like try like you just you <sighs> just be you because we know exactly what you're talking about because for us we're like I don't I don't know what these people like about us I'm like I'm excited that they do but this is crazy yeah. like we didn't realize we were really inspiring and changing people's lives. And it's like, it's still like yeah. shock to the system. It is a shock. It's a shock. So we, it we is. understand. Yeah. And like, it's the imposter syndrome. Like there's a whole thing about it. Like people don't realize like they're on that level because mm-hmm. they can't believe they're on that level. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I need to look, yeah, I need girl. to, I've heard that. I've heard of that term before. Mm-hmm. I feel like I have a gist of what it means, mm-hmm. but not like a full grasp, but I, I've heard that before, but that's some, I've dealt with that for a long time because you know, when your family's just like, you know, you're going, going to go on to do something big, or you're going to help so many people. For me, when you tell me stuff like that, it makes me kind of be like, okay, how do I get there? What do I need to change to actually be who these people think I am? Or, Mm -hmm. you know, do I need to think of content and all that? It's just like, I don't want to do that. I just want to talk shit on my Instagram. Yeah. You know, like, I just want to talk to you guys and just tell you guys how I'm feeling as I'm feeling it. Mm -hmm. But it makes me feel like I have to, um, live up to something and I'm just yeah expectation I don't know what y'all are seeing (laughs) it's scary it's a Mm -hmm. scary feeling I know like there will be people that they're like you guys are you guys are gonna like just hit like go forward like you guys are gonna take over the world and we're just like (gasps) that's a lot of pressure like we want to we want to oh yeah yeah that's a a lot like yeah yeah part of me wants to part of me is just like if you if no one looks up to you there's no one to disappoint <laughs> yeah, yeah there's yes. no pressure like... yes yo but I think I think people just are drawn to your personality and your charisma and your positivity oh and, I appreciate yeah. that guys and your truthness like yeah. you are you are very true to yourself and I think that's what resonates with everybody I think so too yeah that, that that's, not- you know it's and I'm gonna try this thing this time because Y- y'all know how my mind works by now y'all talked to me before yeah yeah <laughs> but the last time we talked when I was listening I'm like I keep cutting them off stop it Christine stop <laughs> so I'm gonna try so hard to like and it's like, uh, take a breath yeah no. I'm gonna talk oh, but yeah, what I was horrible. gonna say is um shades of J. she had made a post actually today just oh, about God. being true to yourself and being authentic and not not 
uh, falling into the pressure of mm-hmm. keeping up with everyone else, you know, yeah. or keeping up with everybody else's Instagram and everybody mm-hmm. else's growth. And, you know, sometimes within the weight loss surgery community, it's kind of like you see the same things over and over. Cause I think some people feel pressure to like imitate, be that person, be mm-hmm. this influencer or, mm-hmm. you know, motivator and all these things. And then it kind of ends up getting convoluted and it's like I don't ever want that to happen to me but I can't lie and I think that that's just the social media thing yeah because after y'all posted the episode I got like 150 followers like and I'm just Holy like shit. no seriously, seriously wow I'm just like that's awesome I was like okay this is this is a lot this is real you know? yeah, this yeah. is growing this is growing oh that's yeah so, so and it makes you be yeah. like okay well you know should I should I start thinking of content I'm like no I'm not no, I'm not even gonna you. even go down that route like I'm just going to do me and yes yeah completely true to, true to myself and if if that happens it happens but I'm not forcing it you know because my yeah. family, they're even like, you're so good at this. You should start a podcast. I'm like, I'm uh, absolutely not. I'm like, I'm absolutely not. This but if is, it's not your passion, no. then don't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and it's a lot of freaking work. I mean, we, exactly. I mean, I couldn't do it without Mel. Yeah, like you so, need people. Like there's no way I could do it without her. It's like, it's no. insane. Like y'all are it's, incredible. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's kind of, uh, the pressure also speaking of that, um, I was going to ask you about how you're dealing with the pressure of watching other people's journeys and knowing like how, like that comparison that game yeah, that, you, that you play you? in your game, in your, in your game, mm-hmm. in your head, like, because you're early on. So yeah. is, it, is it affecting you? So yet or no? it's, I don't think it's affecting me, but I do have kind of like a realization about the weight loss surgery community. It's like, it's an eco. Have you ever heard the term ecosystem? Yeah. Like, okay. So it's like an ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So while I don't feel like I'm being pressured, it's like, I'm pressuring myself to make sure like, Mm -hmm. I want to contribute to this ecosystem, like the same way that when I was looking for information and trying to find people, you know, Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that if somebody comes to my page, if there's stuff to help them, but I just don't want it to, I don't know. I don't, not saying that I don't want to get like full of myself or something. I just don't want to lose my, my goal. Like my goal was never, when I got on the Instagram, it was just I wanted to follow people who mm-hmm. looked like me. You know, I was trying to find people who had comparable bodies to me, yeah. success stories and all this stuff. And I think that sometimes with the whole success story thing, we spend so much time looking for someone at their final stage because we want to see what this person looks like mm-hmm. after they lose all the weight. Yeah. That, and we're not following the people, you know, on YouTube who are like, Hey, this is day one. This is what it's like for me. We're following the people who are two years out Out or a year out and have reached their goal. Mm -hmm. And then we're wondering why we're not getting complete information. Whereas if it was more following people who were kind of closer in the timeline or just starting the journey, you'd have a more comprehensive idea of what the process is. Yeah. What's going on. And that's what's perfect about the diaries is trying to make sure that everybody has like, Oh, they're all first month. What does first month sound like through three or four different people? Yeah. That's like, yeah. and now you're on your third month. So like what has changed now from first month to third month? What's been the biggest changes? Um, the excitement, I okay. feel like the honeymoon stage is mm. over. And I know that asking someone who's five years out, six years out, like you, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> sure, you're like, you know, Please, honey, no, please. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, that excitement that I had has changed because going into it, you know, even talking to you guys a month out, you know, I'm still, you know, just getting into soft foods. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm very restricted in what I can eat. Now, you know, the 10 weeks that Pompeii was calling me the place I have surgery, <laughs> that's over. You know, they're not yeah. calling me, telling me what to eat anymore yep. and what to do. Mm-hmm. And you know, I met with my nutritionist and she's like, you need to have, um, you know, more nutrients from natural foods. You need to eat less packaged foods. Cause Mm -hmm. she's like, right now you are a carnivore. You're just doing meat and cheese. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. y'all said do protein. (laughs) What do you want me to do? Eggs, milk, 
you know, just whatever has protein in it. That's what I'm that's doing. What you yeah. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, but back to what you guys were saying about one to third month, like, okay. The journal. Yes. When Love is the last time journal. I wrote in this damn journal? Yeah. I st- well, okay. I updated it a couple of weeks ago, just with like a new picture of me, but in terms of when I made it, I'm like, I'm going to take it to the grocery store. You could not rip this. I, it was literally on the nightstand when I slept. Yeah, as yeah. it should be. Three yeah. months out, it's on the desk and like, I have to <laughs> yeah. the desk off of it <laughs> and just be like, okay, write in your journal. So I feel the biggest difference is I, I, I'm still excited, mm-hmm. but I feel more frantic and I feel like I'm just going by the seat of my pants. Like the things that I thought that I'd be doing, Mm -hmm. I'm not. And yeah, we need examples. Okay. So the things I thought I'd be doing meal prepping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, Mm -hmm. for me right now, it's just like, because I can only eat a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, well, it doesn't matter what I eat. I'm going to be full in five minutes. So let me just go get a tuna packet and eat a tuna packet. And that's it. And actually I'm going through stuff where because I'm not eating enough and not actually tracking my meals and ugh, I was the girl bringing protein to the restaurant yes, you know, yes. and now I'm like yeah about to fucking pass out because I haven't eaten enough food oh, you know, like literally like Christine I had a, oh you are gonna get yelled at by us yeah I know but it's like I'm 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 not doing bad right I'm not binging yeah. I'm not having absolutely no activity. I get out, I, mm-hmm. I go walking, I get my steps in, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But in terms of the structure, yeah, it's changed. the structure that I had planned for myself, which is why it's like God laughs at plans. Mm-hmm. It's like the structure, I'm just like, I'm going to lift and I'm going to be this. And I want to, all of those things, <laughs> um, I don't feel like I'm doing it. And it makes me feel like I'm failing, even mm-hmm. though I'm and I know I'm not failing, no. right? So I'm trying to give myself enough credit, but at the same time, I'm like, you're not meal prepping. You know, you're not eating enough. I'm getting my water in, but that's yes. only because there's a Sonic two minutes from my house. Oh my God, that story was amazing. Those yes. Sonic oh waters, I'm literally just, I drink those. Anytime I pass the Sonic, I stop and get one. So water is not a problem. Okay. Um, Love it. But for me, the main thing will be meal prepping and then not holding myself accountable when it comes to working out. Like, and it started off very strong. And once I had the dizzy spells, I'm like, oh, this is too early. So Mm -hmm. then instead of me being like, okay, maybe you won't run and you'll walk instead. Maybe you won't go to the gym three times a week. You'll try to go once a week. I'm like, no, I'm about to pass out. That means I don't need to do anything. <laughs> you know? um, so, <laughs> you know? I was going to ask, so that was the trigger that that would change you from like no meal prepping, no working out like you normally did was a dizzy spell? Um, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Whenever I'm <laughs> you're like, duh. You know? Yeah, fucking Ooh, better I'm, right now. That's what we're here for. I, um, Whenever they stopped calling me, I kind of got overwhelmed with, and when I talked to my nutritionist and they were like, you need to be eating more. You need to expand your, you know, nutrients and be getting more nutrients from food Mm -hmm. instead of these protein shakes and all that stuff. I became so overwhelmed that I'm just like, uh, okay, no, I'm doing what works because I'm like, okay. You know, I'm still making sure I'm getting the protein as, as much as I can, mm-hmm. but I feel like the process would be going smoother if I was being structured like I was initially talking about. Okay. I don't feel as structured. Yeah. Okay. So I got a few things oh, I'm going to touch on I in that. Saying. Yeah. I have, I have some things. Read me, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So first off, meal prepping does not make or break you. Like don't, don't expect that one thing to make or break your journey. I mean, I don't meal prep. I've never yeah. meal prepped. Melanie's never meal prepped. We're, we're, we're still good. Yeah. I just had right? a protein shake every day. That was my baseline. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So th- don't, don't put everything on meal prepping. Meal prepping is not, not as important as you, I think you're envisioning it to be. Does right. that make does yeah. that yeah we're overthinking it yeah you're overthinking the meal prepping because it's it's really like 
as long as you are meal planning, mm -hmm. planning, Different. not prepping. I'm not doing that either. <laughs> well, and, that's, and that's, that's something, deal, yeah. yeah, that's something you can add. And that's going to like, you, you don't have to take the next week and meal prep it all for the next week. Mm -mm. Like mm -hmm. think about it in the instance of like, okay, tomorrow, what am I having tomorrow? And just write that down. Yeah. Right. Kind of simple. I, I did like, good today. Like, days. yeah, I did good days. today. Like I woke up and I was like, you're going to eat three meals today because good job. I hadn't been eating enough mm -hmm. because the way with my work schedule, it hasn't gotten any less crazy. Or I, I actually have a couple of more people I'm supporting. So there have been times where I've looked up and it's four o'clock and I'm like, no shit. I'm not mm -hmm. eating today. Mm -hmm. And then I wonder why when I'm getting up, I'm like, Oh fuck. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, so first you need to set a timer on your on You're your so phone. So young in this journey, you gotta um, have a timer right I now. Have timers. I have timers. When, oh my gosh, you don't I wish you could just get it in my head. I wish, Kelly, I wish you could get in my head. My timer will go off. I'll and you say I'll do it in a second. I'm like, I'll get up and I was like, I'll get up in one second. Yep. I'll look at my phone and an hour has, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll get up and do it. My phone has just reminded me two minutes ago to drink water. There is a bottle of water right here. Oh, I, shit. You know what? Actually, let me take a drink. My, yep. Oh, I love it. Drink your motherfucking water. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I almost assisted myself. Why am I trying to assist her? I don't, I don't understand that so at weird. all, but we're going to get back to it. No. <laughs> <I'm not joking. laughs> so weird. And now we're back to the show. And we're back. Um, so, then I think the other portion of what I'm hearing is girl, give yourself some fucking grace. Yeah. You're being really hard grace. on yourself. Yeah. Because you are being entirely too hard on yourself. Three months, you're you you don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Like you're like, I I'm I I'm I'm in this stage. I don't really know what to eat. I don't really, I can, I can only do cer certain things. And if I don't eat enough, I'm going to get dizzy. So you have to take all of those things into consideration and you're doing fucking awesome. Yeah. Like you're still doing the damn thing. So <laughs> give yourself some grace, <sighs> breathe and it's okay. And yes, if you don't do it today, there's always tomorrow. Yeah. There's always yeah. tomorrow. Tomorrow mm -hmm. always comes. So, you guys are right. You guys are right. I just, I have no in between. Yeah. So it's like, I can be hard on myself mm -hmm. or I can be not hard on myself. Yeah. And I'm very okay with being not hard on myself because mm -hmm. think about it after, after the dizzy spells, I mm -hmm. feel like I almost use it as, even though it's like, you're getting dizzy when you stand up, of course you shouldn't be going to run or yeah, you know, please don't, please but don't. In my mind, I'm like, Okay, but you're not doing anything now. So you yeah. could you can get a thigh master and do that, you know. So you guys are right. Mm -hmm. I'm being that best friend we were talking about last time. I'm being that little bitch to myself. <laughs> like, oh, you're not doing enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're dizzy. Yep. So what? You know, like yeah. and I and I'm working on it, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I know how much I want this mm -hmm. and how many times I have tried before and there's always that looming fear that this attempt is going to end like every other weight loss attempt I've ever had mm -hmm. you know like I had my first gain but it was because of my period I I discovered oh. I said okay. I discovered because I was like beating myself up like what the hell did you do Oh, and then, shit. but I was, cause I was so used to like not having periods. Like mm -hmm. I was one of those people because my PCOS, I'd get them like mm -hmm. five times a year, you yeah. know? So, and I was fine with that because yeah. menstrual cycles fucking suck, yeah. you know? So then I'm sitting there and I'm like, what did you do? And I'm like, oh my God, I gained like three pounds. I was so happy to get out of the two sixties. And then it went back to two sixty. So I was just like, you're like, ah, oh, look at what you're doing. You're fucking failing. And no. then like, I feel, I'm like, it's because you didn't sleep. It's because you didn't exercise. It's because you're not eating enough. It's so it's like, I know the whys, but then mm -hmm. while I was going through the whys, I posted that on my story earlier. I was like, there was a cramp that like hit me into my soul. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, it's a period. I forget about those. Yeah. Forget yeah. Those once a month now. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, just. Uh, two to five pounds, to... girlfriend. You gain two to five pounds on a period. So 
it's just water like, weight. Not, like what is so wrong with not having a period it was, it's not that bad like I don't have a period I don't want kids right now who cares about ovulation I know they won't let me do it like I've told them like take my stuff and they're like you're too young and I was like thank you and I was like I know what <laughs> I want stuff. <laughs> I already have a take 15 it. year old I don't want an accident like I'm sorry like I love just you. A if teenager. I just give it to the teenager. This is your baby now. <laughs> right? Well, I mean, <laughs> we were 16 when your brother was born. I know. I Ooh. know. So it's like, why would you do that? You're almost done. Yeah. But it's, I guess it's a blessing. Some some people want to be grandparents to their damn kids. That's all right. <laughs> we running around with them. And some grandparents are better than parents. So exactly. The little kids five. get treated so much better. Yeah, I know that's my older brother says that too. He's like, you guys had it so easy. I'm yeah. Like, You're bad. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so oh, what are you eating these days? Yes. And so like last time we saw you, it was one month. You're like liquid salt, like going in puree, yeah. soft foods. Like, so what did you transition into? I am a walking charcuterie board uh-huh okay i'm a walking charcuterie board like meat and cheese is my jam right now and okay. just honestly i'm not i'm not eating bad like the only thing that i had that was bad huh? was there was these tahine peach rings and i was like you know like i'm, I'm having those. i'm risking it i was like i'm risking it because i've never seen these before and now oh. i see them everywhere but when i first i'm always like <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have these. I made the decision. I was like, this is a cognitive decision. You're not doing this because you're having some type of emotional breakdown. You're doing this because they're fucking tahini peach rings. Yes. So, yes. But, first yes. Time. You can try them. I it's mean, fine. literally last night I left Mel's and I, I was like, I want ice cream. I want ice cream and I'm okay with the decision to go get oh, ice cream. Did you have ice cream? Yeah. I went to Sonic. You went to the fucking Sonic. You went to Sonic? I had ice cream, but it wasn't Sonic. Oh. That is so fucking That's funny. weird. That's we funny. went and got Eric's medicine and then I'm like, can we go to Dairy Queen? Oh, shit. <laughs> go get you That's a blazer, funny. So we I had Halo it. Top, which is so good. I'm like, it, I it can is. do this. It really I, is. I, I had strawberry and I was like, I, I, can, I, can do, I can do this and not feel like I'm eating. Because that briar sugar-free stuff. Oh, uh, oh. Oh it's like goodness. hairspray yeah it's I don't so like gross. it it just tastes yeah. too artificial but that halo mm-hmm. top I was like okay if I'm looking for a sweet treat I can do that but I haven't folded it's funny Good. that you said sonic because the last time I went to go get my sonic water I pulled up to the drive through and honestly I'm just like can I get a sonic water anything else no fries no just give me my fucking water so I can go but when I pull up they're like making this strawberry sundae for someone and like I see their fuckers and Aww. I see it in my peripheral and it's just like a commercial just like oh that looks so good and I was just like that he gives me my water I'm like thank you yeah I was two seconds from being like I'm coming through that window and I'm eating that I want strawberry that Sunday. Yeah. That, that Sunday. I need. Hand me, hand me that Sunday, please. Um, well, I'm glad that you didn't order one because you are very new to the bariatric. Yes. Post op. Yes. World. But I like that you, when you talked about the peach rings, you said, this is something that I have, like, I, I'm not binging. I'm not like, I'm okay with doing this. I'm okay with. No, yeah. This. Yeah. And I, and I had to have that moment because mm-hmm. funnily enough, I haven't had the desire to really binge and that has been mind blowing because before I thought that I didn't have any control over it. You know, Mm -hmm. I thought that if I wanted something, I had to go have it, you know, Mm -hmm. that if I didn't have it, the world was going to implode, you know? So I would just, as soon as I got the impulse, I'd go. And now it's and I think it's because of the frustration with the small amount of food that I can eat Mm -hmm. it's like I don't even want to binge like why what's the what's the point in two bites you're going to be full it's not even going to be satisfying you're not going to be able to just eat and eat and eat you know so I'm just like there's no point to it so I don't feel as connected to food because even even the like delicious food that I've tried like you know my mom's cooking and like having a little bit of that while yeah. it's delicious, I'm just like, if I eat more than, you know, a few bites, I'm going to be uncomfortable Yeah. in that. Oh my God. Y'all could have told me I'm saying about how- that food getting stuck in your damn 
chest. Oh, yeah, oh, that knot that you feel? Yep. Oh my God. Brother. I literally had to be burped. Oh. Burped. Oh my God. Like somebody come. Um, please like, tell oh, me that was recorded, uh, right? Yeah, I'm like, somebody do the Heimlich on me. <laughs> Christ. Like, I'm like, oh please, if, if you were like literally burped like a baby. No, literally, I was like, hit my back, please. <laughs> and I was it, like, please hit me. If it ever <laughs> happens again, if you could please record that, uh-huh. I think we would all be very <laughs> grateful to oh, know how, yeah. how to burp a grown woman. No, yeah, you just gotta uh, <laughs> hit that back a Same few thing. times. And then it's fine and you let out one of those burps that, uh, and it's just yep. like, okay, I'm okay. Yeah, but, that pressure is mm, a gnarly feeling. Yeah, And that didn't happen until I, you know, got to like full foods. Uh, and it was a piece of cauliflower that almost killed me. Oh, well, no. Okay, it almost killed me. Yeah, it was. Well, because those are like foods. really heavy on the stomach. They're yeah, very them. fibrous. Yeah. No, it didn't even make it to the, what? I'm, oh, okay. No. Let me, let's get back on track here. Fucking shit. <laughs> I have a hard time gauging that last bite. Oh, yes. Okay. So it's like, I'll be eating. It's fine. I'm chewing. Everything's good. And I'm like, oh, this is really good. Okay. Yep. I'm starting to feel a little full. I can have one more bite and it'll be that bite. And once you take it and swallow, there's like literally nothing you can do about it. It's, nope. like, it's like, you have severely fucked up. Yeah. You have to, and you are going to have to ride this out for the next like 10 minutes uh-huh. until this food moves down. So that it is time to that's reevaluate our down. lives oh, at this point. Reevaluate what that, you're doing. That, like, that yes, I, I've had I, a lesson more than a few times. And I'm just like, at what point will you finally just say, I'm starting to get full? No, it's not. I'm starting to get full. You're full. I just, am full. Just stop now. Just because I'm always just testing. It's like, I want to know what's the mm-hmm. actual like what's the actual so like so here's he, i am two <laughs> years out and i still do that like to this like i she still because my personality is when i do something i want to push it as far to the edge as i can and yeah. like dip a toe over and right. then come back and reel myself back in like with everything in my life my hair color i constantly go in there and be like can we get it redder and she's What's like the most red we can yeah do? and she's yeah. like you are already really red yeah, and i'm red. like but, but more but yeah, yeah how can we go to more and i'll show her a picture and she'd be like your hair looks like that <laughs> so well, stop it yeah and it's the same thing like with everything like i have my coffee like let's go to eight shots because that's not the thing. right how, how much espresso is too much how, how much, much? Will kill me? like you know, can I, can I, like minor heart attack and then come like then right? I'm good. like it's like i only had body. palpitations it was only yeah. palpitations yeah. it was it was there it was fine it was fine <laughs> i do i i know my heart's there in my oh chest my God. um but that's how i do all my food i'll be like yeah. okay okay i'm starting to get full okay okay but it's really good so i'm gonna take one more and then it's like oh fuck my life i regret that decision so yeah, bad yeah, so bad yeah. i regret it so it's gonna be so it, it'll happen if anyone's listening don't do kelly don't what? do uh, no rephrase <laughs> yeah. what are you uh, i mean i'm just kidding i mean i am single so i mean eventually yes yeah, somebody single, y'all, do me, so. yeah. but <laughs> who's who's listening uh, <laughs> anybody out there are you in here and... <laughs> <DM>. yeah <laughs> That's where my only fans come in. <laughs> yes. Oh you have said that twice now and you don't have one. Like, I don't. I don't, don't, search. Does not don't search. There is no, no only fans for me. It, it'll never happen. I mean, you never so. know. I don't judge. If, if one day I saw your feet on only fans. Thank you. I mean. Thank you. Um, that's the one I always say, like feet, feet. That's Beat the one I'm down for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, it's possible, but uh, yeah, yeah. Kelly needs well, to get laid. Tell, okay, apparently, Y'all don't judge me. But there's no judgment on this. When I was in college, there's a guy that lived in Pittsburgh that used to pay for my pedicures, and he just wanted to pick the color, and I'd be like, mm-hmm. "All right, how do I get I'm that at- deal?" I'm listen. I met him on the strip in Vegas. We exchanged information, and he lived in Pittsburgh. I lived in Houston. He's just like, "What your feet look like?" And I'm like. My feet aren't done. I need a pedicure. I need some money. And he like sent me 50 bucks. Cause I, he was like, well, how much are the pedicures? 
Now, let me tell you how much of a scammer I am. Oh now, my God. Oh I told them they were 50 because <laughs> I wanted the lux. But really, I would go get like a $25 pedicure yeah. and then go buy some weed or something. Hell <laughs> yeah, it's my girl. <laughs> like, oh thank my you. <laughs> Oh my God. That's times, that was my old life. My, um, boyfriend, my boyfriend hates feet now. So that time's over for me, but he'll still pay for my pet. Well, but my question is, uh, can you DM me his number? Does yeah, I'll ask, totally. Like, He's probably I'm, looking for a new foot girl. I'm, yeah, you just, I'm just, just to pick the color. Yeah, I mean, I'm cool <laughs> with that. I mean, free pedicures. I mean, but really like. So and upsell it. Tell them that like it's yeah. 60 and then go take yourself for a meal or go get a bottle of wine. Oh no, there I'm going to say manicure and pedicure. Exactly. No, He's not into hands, it. Kelly. It's feet. He doesn't care about your yeah, hands. That's fine. Hands. But the feet and the hands go together. So Is that him calling right now. Yeah, that, that was, oh, that yeah, was him. No. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Like, did you beckon you me? Fast. What you are fast. Oh my God. Uh, see, see how I get y'all off track. I'm Seriously, sorry. Oh, but I, love it. I love it. I love it. The takeaways I'm hearing. Like, this whole conversation is amazing. Is one, one. I <laughs> said wacky. I said wacky. You did at least do a disclaimer. I did. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, Melanie, sorry. Melanie, we're listening. So the things that were taken away from this is one, be graceful. Yes. 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 Give, Give yourself yes. grace. Give yourself grace. Two, timer. Three, Kelly needs to get laid. Anyways. Two, yeah. actually getting up when my timer goes off. I have all the timers, ladies. I yeah, I. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say paying attention, actually listening to, to your, your timer. timer. So you say, my timer just went off. Excuse me. I'm going to go get a protein shake. I did that for my calciums today. You, good job. That's, that's huge. It was just the water there. ones. I was just like, mm-hmm, in a couple. <laughs> no, yeah, in good. a few, in a few, I'll do it. Well, no, you got, nope you got it. you need to leave your calcium on your desk yeah i found um a really nice container he's gonna have a container y'all sure yes let's okay, see so it. i have two of them and they just Ooh. yeah they just like pop out so you know i'll oh, take so the one for the day and just put it uh-huh. on the desk and then like leave this by my pill things so now clearly fantastic so everybody that before you say fantastic it's what empty. Okay, I've just been not taking it. it from the container this week and going to the kitchen table. But this but is a, it. we'll, it's a Monday through Sunday, like pill bottles. Yeah, yes. that are all linked together. Yes, yes, and you can just pull out each day. And unfortunately, hers are empty. <laughs> <laughs> so, I took my vitamins today, though. I just okay. didn't refill the containers. I took it right out the bottle. I was just like, okay, right out the bottle. I love it. <laughs> um, so your task for tonight, yeah. ma'am. Okay. Shit. Take oh, ten. Okay. Take ten minutes. It doesn't even take okay. ten yeah. minutes. But a lot okay. for ten, just in case. That's your chore, and I expect mm-hmm. that to be done. What, in order we feel that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We need to. We need a photo. You to tag okay. us. Make fine. sure. Fine. Fine, mom. Fine. <laughs> I'll refill it. I mean, do you we'll want your picture. allowance or not? That's I want like, my allowance. Please. Yeah. Yes. Do you <laughs> want your pedicure or not? Like I'm I know, saying. right? I need my money. I'll do it. <laughs> Oh my I'll, do, I'll do it. I have been taking, I have, I promise I've been taking them. Good. I just, because one of, okay. What happened was what had happened was one of the containers, I went out and I bought it with me and then I took the last one and I left it in my car. So uh, one of them is in the car and I'm like, oh, you can't refill it. One's in the car, even though yeah, you six of them are in there. Technically okay. I could refill the other six and got it out the car. Uh-huh. Yeah, you have your car one and your home one. I'm yeah, you fill both, I'm then you'll never be without. Anymore. Yeah, I'm just saying. I just thought that the surgery was just going to turn me into this person. That no, you have just, to you have turn I, yourself I into that person. I know. I went on a yourself. rant last night about it. I went on Practice. a rant last night because I was just, like, and it was a, one of those rants where people probably thought I was talking to them, but really I was just reading myself because yeah. it was like, yeah. yeah you you're not going to wake up off that table and even the in those first couple of weeks you're still so excited about it like mm-hmm. I made this big decision but it's just like your brain's not going to change like the fact that I procrastinate in every aspect of my life it is not going to change until I stop being a fucking procrastinator you know right. so it's like I thought I put a lot on the tool you mm-hmm. know and I was really counting on the fact that anything that I'm not supposed to have is going to make me sick. 
to the mm. point I'm going to dump and I'm going to get, I still have oh, it. No, it might not happen. Time. That I, does you not know, happen. nothing bothers me. Nothing. Those peach rings set like a charm. Okay. And, and it's so that's what like, it does. Cause you're like, that was my fail safe. And yeah. So not, nothing bothers me. So yeah. I'm just starting to get to that realization point where it's like, okay, Christine, you are really going to have to do some real work like mm. on yourself because the fact is my weight and my lack of structure, mm -hmm. it just kind of, it's all wrapped around of how I deal with everything else in my life yeah. too. They go you hand know, in like hand. For instance, I'm moving to Dallas on Saturday. Did Whoa. I start, did I not start packing until last night? Of I course. started packing yesterday. Yep. You know, I've known that I was moving for like at least a year, you know, and I just oh, always shit. tell myself like, yeah, yeah, it's, Girl. it's six weeks away. It's four weeks away. Then it's Thanks. two weeks away. It's now nice. it's like four days. And I'm like, okay. And that's fuck. with that's the panic mode. Woo. Yeah. That's what it goes into. Um, yeah. I am, will eventually move out of my house. And I know that. Have I packed anything? No, probably not. Well, no. I, I know I'm not living oh in that house forever. That makes y'all face shit. Oh yeah, one hundred. That's what's happening. Yeah, I I. Say that one more time. Yeah, like you'll have to face things, like. And that, yeah. girl, you just hit it on hit the nail on the coffin because the reason why I have been procrastinating with the moving is because I'm leaving the nest for the last time. Like I'm going to go live with my boyfriend in another city. This mm -hmm. is where I came. I came home to my parents after I graduated college to get my shit together. And I'm, I really am sad that I'm leaving home. Like I, earlier this week or last week, I was literally in the car, like bawling. It was so embarrassing. Yeah, it was so embarrassing. My dad was like, why do you keep sniffling? Do you need Zyrtec? And I'm like, no. no, I'm fine. And he's like, no, you're not. You're sick. And I'm like, I'm not sick. I just have just been so overwhelmed with the life changes it's a you big know? Deal. so even mm -hmm. with the surgery so it's like there's so many life changes that have went on for me in the past mm -hmm. six months year that it's like I'm getting to that point where I'm feeling just overwhelmed and the mm -hmm. thing about me is when I get overwhelmed when I feel like there's too much on my plate my alternative is to do absolutely fucking nothing, nothing. and yeah. I'm the exact same way Nothing. We're gonna we're gonna take this and we're just gonna set it over there. Yeah, and I'm gonna go take a nap. You know, exactly. It's like that's I'm a gonna problem for future you. <laughs> that is a problem for future you. You do not have to think about that right in this moment. Yep. Yeah. Yep, nope. Yeah. I think we've all yeah. can relate to that for yes. sure. Yes. I think we've done that our entire uh I mean, that's what the whole weight loss before yeah. surgery. That's what we did. We said, okay, Push we're everything gonna, off next yep, week. Yep. Yeah, we're just gonna, I'm gonna like, start my diet on Monday. Yep. Yeah. And so the, yeah. So the Monday next never day, comes. Monday. So the and next Monday meal. never. I just, or I just said that. Like, I, I did a story, and I was just like, I have. That's how I got to my highest weight. Like, yep. I was just always like, next week, next week, next week. And another component of it is we strive so much for perfection mm -hmm. that if we're just part, if we're just making progress, it's not good enough. It's mm -hmm. like, no, I told myself I was going to work out five times this week and I didn't, I'm a failure. So instead of being like, okay, well, next week's a new opportunity to hit your right. five times. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of times it's like, you have to start all over. I, in every weight loss attempt, I've gotten to a point where I'm just like, oh, you messed up. Got to start all over. And then that that new start date never comes, just keeps mm -hmm. getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. Mm -hmm. And now my fear is really connected to the fact that in the beginning I was so, and I'm still in the beginning. I know, man. Right. Yeah. You're super in the <laughs> but in the very, very beginning, I was so excited and there was nothing you could say to me to tell me mm -hmm. that like, this is not the, this was not going to be the time that like I was going to give it my all and everything was going to go the way it should. Like I, I paid to go have surgery in another country. Mm -hmm. So yeah. even though you guys are telling me, oh, you're doing fine. There's the part of me that always is striving for perfection that knows that I'm not doing that. And because I'm not, it's like, you know, I'm sitting there looking at myself like an African dad, just like, mm -mm -mm. two questions. <laughs> oh, two, not just one, two. 
So one, since the last time we saw you, how much weight have you lost? Oh, no. oh yes. So I think the last time you guys talked to me, I was 287. Okay. Now I'm 259. So yeah. So all in all, I've lost 54 pounds, 55 pounds. One in, in three, three months. months. In three months. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I know, Mel, okay, I know so I'm not. And I promise you, I'm not doing that thing where I'm like, oh, I'm not losing enough getting in the Facebook. No, no shame. No shame. But getting yeah. in the Facebook forums, like I only lost 24 pounds in three days. What am I doing wrong? What's wrong like, with I'm me? not doing that. Like I know <laughs> no. that I'm actually shocked that it's that amount in three months, yeah. because in my mind, when I first started, it was like, okay, I had 130 pounds to lose. Now I have 77 pounds. Mm, so right. the fact that in three months, I'm like, dang, you're 77 pounds away from your goal. Yeah, three months ago, that. you were 130 pounds away from your goal. I'm just like, it's happening kind of fast. It and is. that was a moment too, because I swear, ladies, I looked in the mirror and my face being slimmer, I, I had a panic attack. Mm -hmm. in the bathroom oh, no. and I'm okay. only don't you know don't cry for me don't cry for no, me. no but I've been there <laughs> yeah I've I, 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 I like. had that same yeah yeah like we've been to, I've done that so I was like oh just, I was like in the mirror like this just like what the fuck like and that? warranted like I'm not smaller than I've ever been like I think right when I went to college I lost a bunch of weight because I didn't have my car um mm -hmm. And I'm not that even that small yet, but I think that because three months ago I was looking in the mirror and I wasn't recognizing myself because I gained so much weight. And then three months later, I'm just like, wait, what version of Christine is this? Cause I've done so many, like, I'm like, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. what is this? Is this 2014 Christine? <laughs> like, what Christine is this right now? This so, and then they kind of 2021 fucking Christine. That's what that is. Like, it's a badass yeah. Christine. It's this Christine. It's the present Christine. Don't yeah. worry about what it could have, should have been. Like it's it yeah. is what it is now. Yeah. Which leads to my second question. What is your goals every week for losing weight? Like, do you have your own? I don't, like, I don't have goal? a, I don't have a numbers goal. Like, okay. because I don't want to, um, set myself up for failure or disappointment right or you know your body your body ebbs and flows so much in this like one week I didn't lose anything one week I lost freaking 10 pounds in a week so it's like it's right. gonna do it once anyway um so I really don't have goals connected to like numbers like other numbers. than like big milestones so my mm -hmm. first one was to get under 300 pounds. So the first mm -hmm. one was 299. Yep. I hit that. My next one is to get under 250 pounds. So mm -hmm. once I hit 249, that. And then my yep. next one would be to be under 100, be under 200 pounds. So like 199, 199 yeah. would be one. Mm -hmm. And then I guess my last one will be my goal weight. But I'm not trying to do the whole, oh, I want to lose two pounds a week because I'm not trying to become, I'm already enough of a scale hoe. Like I'm not trying to become more of one, you know, like I'm already enough of one. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Cause it could totally like make you have like a complex. I think mm -hmm. what exactly. I was thinking was because you've already over 50 pounds in three months. So like mm -hmm. you're exceeding like most people's goals regardless. Mm -hmm. So in my head, I was thinking like, could you just maybe put yourself a goal between like, like zero and three. So that way, like when you look at the scale, you can be like, oh, I did something good today. Like I feel accomplished. Like I've hit that because you mm -hmm. are hitting some crazy goals that you're not even realizing mm -hmm. that you're hitting. Like, yeah, it's pretty intense. I didn't lose fucking 54 pounds in three months. I lost 30, <laughs> like, like 29, 30 pounds in three months. It was not anywhere near what you're hitting. Yeah. So like you should be really proud of yourself. Yes. I, I am very proud. And despite, I know, and to the listeners, I'm sorry, I don't sound as enthusiastic <laughs> as I did, uh, two months ago. Guys. No, this is good. This is real, real damn it. Like, yeah. This is I, real life. I, there was a part of me that wanted to get on here with y'all and almost fake the funk. Like everything's fine. Nope. It's good. No. Yeah. I'm still doing it. Mm -hmm, girl. Nope. <laughs> no. And then there was no. a part, I'm just like, these are my girls. Like, let me just mm -hmm. keep it real because yeah. one thing y'all will also be able to be like, Hey, I experienced that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even when I um, post on my story about, um, just having those expectations after surgery that your whole mind was going to change. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. many people came onto that. Just like, I feel that way too. And it just gives you that reassurance. So that's why I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna keep on keeping it real. I, yeah. Not, I am happy. I'm blessed. This is still the best decision I've ever 
made in my life. Like this is a decision that I made for me. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm just kind of getting hit with a bit of reality. Like Mm -hmm. it's not going, it's on you girl. Like this tool Mm -hmm. is fine, but I think that we all kind of, before we have the surgery, all buy into the easy way out. We Mm -hmm. all like, whether we we want to get it or not, we all buy into it because Mm -hmm. we're like, this is going to be the one I'm about to get all this weight off, you know? And it's just like, you're not thinking about all of the steps it's going to take. Cause there's yeah. still stuff behind it. Like, yes. Cause like we were just talking to my brother about his six month check-in mm-hmm. yesterday yes. and we brought, brought it. We always talk about the easy way out because it's really not, but it's like, yeah, of course, like you'd hit the button if it was an easy mm-hmm. way out, but there's still always going to be work behind it. Mm-hmm. No matter mm-hmm. what you're doing, like our live of the live surgery dropped today. And like, I go on a full rant about like, it's not easy for anything that you do. Whether Mm -hmm. you're like a carpenter, you're a contractor, you're a musician, you're a podcaster, you're losing weight. Mm -hmm. Like there's always going to be work behind it, Mm -hmm. but no one ever looks about the work part, the middle. They always see the beginning and and then the end. And they Mm -hmm. forget there's this whole thing in between that you have to fucking deal with. Mm -hmm. And most of the time it's you facing the facts of like who you really are, because like as a musician, can Melanie fucking play an instrument? Not at all. But if I like had the confidence, I'd try and then probably fail because yeah. that's just not hey, what hey, it is. Hey, 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 no negativity uh, here. I know. If but... you want to play the fucking guitar, you'll play the fucking guitar. That's what I'm saying. I love it. I love if it. you but want I get, to. I get what you guys are saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like you just, you have to put in the work though. Like I can't expect to pick up the guitar and be like the best ever. Like yeah. there has to be some practice. There has mm. to be some work. There has to be like someone educating to like do some research. And that's the same thing with our surgery. You have to do all the things. And there will be some months that just suck. That suck. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. suck. You hate, yeah. you hate food. You hate the scale. You hate where you're at mentally. You're not in a good spot. You're having problems with body dysmorphia. You're having imposter syndrome, like all of these different oh. things they're, they're going to happen. But where the work is, is like, that you're pushing through and you're accepting those feelings. You're saying, yeah, I'm in a funk right now. And I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't set timers or I'm not listening to my timers. I'm not meal prepping. Like you're, you're admitting that Mm -hmm. you are not fully there, like fully in and And that's okay. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. Because you're not going to be fully in a hundred percent every single day of of the rest of your life. It's not going to happen. I think it's like what they say parenting is like, you're never going to be ready. Like (laughs) we keep on telling people who have not had the surgery, you need to be mentally ready. You need to be mentally ready. You need to be mentally ready. But the truth is, I pulled my thing. I I don't think I was mentally, mentally ready, but I don't, I also don't think that that means that I should not have had the surgery. Oh, no. I think that it means that I have come to the realization that that readiness is not coming from the sleeve, that readiness is coming from me. And every day we have a new opportunity to do something differently. Yeah. Like, even if I don't hit all my goals, you know, I'm not, I'm, and I'm not being as much of a bitch to myself. I'm just being more of a, like, realistic, like nice, nasty, just like, yeah, mm-hmm. nice. you know, it's, it's, I'm being nice, nasty with myself. I'm oh, not being as oh much of a bitch to myself as I usually am, but it's like, a little shade, like your friend that tells you that little thing. You're just like, bitch, did you just read me? You know, I like, say, that. like, bitch, I'm nice, nasty. Shut your exactly. um, I'm going like, to start telling you that. Be like, Melanie, you are being nice, nice nasty, nasty right now. You need yes. to check nice, yourself. Nasty. And uh, before you wreck yourself, I'm just going yes. to put that out there. So, I can feel it. That's happening. <laughs> but every day we have, you know, a new opportunity or yeah. every moment, you know? So it's like, every I have to get out of my head. That even if, like, let's say I have some fries or something Mm -hmm. like that, right? And, you know, we're not supposed to be having fried foods or nothing like that. Right. Instead of beating myself up about the fact I had fries and then being like, now that you have fries, you completely ruined any chance you have of losing weight. Mm -hmm. It's all out of the window. And since it's all out of the window, might as well have a burger to go with that fries, have that shake to go with the fries, Mm -hmm. a Sunday, we have whatever you want and start all over again. We can look at it like, okay, you had the fries. It's done. You yeah, it's done deal. You can't not have it. I mean, it's already mm-hmm. done. The next meal that you have, make a better decision. Mm-hmm. So that's how I'm trying to be, you know. And the food Good. isn't really a problem for me right now, just because like 
food is more of a frustration because it's just like I'm eating because I have to yeah. but like the fact that I get uncomfortable so fast and I'm used to like I'm used yeah. to it, it frustrates me like mm-hmm. I miss I'm not gonna lie and yeah. judge me if you whoever judge me if you want but I miss being able to fuck up some food like yeah. I miss being able to like eat your fucking yeah. feelings yes like, not even to eat my feelings it's just, just like when stuff is well, good you just want that, that that's, that's, response just that's how i describe it. that's how you know? I describe it's the it. american thing to yes. do yeah <laughs> that's how i describe it's it the american it. thing to do yeah be fucking greedy you know so the fact <laughs> that even when i want to it's like uh, it's like i had i had a street taco yeah. and like half of it and it was one of those tiny street tacos Mm -hmm. mind you I used to be able to eat like eight of those if I wanted to yeah you know it's like get 20 tacos in between two people they're gonna be gone and it's like that one taco halfway through and I'm like yep yesterday literally literally we did that yesterday it's so irritating and I'm just like I just want I just want this taco you know or the fact that everything is giving me heartburn. Like mm-hmm. I get heartburn yeah. like a motherfucker. Like, Are you on prescription? Yeah. My, my doctor actually just bumped it up from the normal 20 milligrams to 40 because okay. I'm just like, bad. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, everything gives me heartburn. It's annoying. I had to freaking go buy Tums. Like I'm a 58 year old man. You know, um, they I, eat hungry meals all day. I I'm have like, a 38-year-old man takes those. <laughs> I have I have Tums in my car. So, yeah, and she I, do, I have to carry Tums with me now. Yeah, and I'm like, you do. Who Who cares? Cares? Yes. Who cares? The same. <laughs> uh, if it makes you feel good, yeah, if it if it helps. <laughs> then just I have do a it. you to not feel uncomfortable. You shouldn't have to yeah. be uncomfortable. Yeah. Like you can't physically make your body feel better. Like you can talk to it and be like, you feel better now. It's not gonna happen. Like yeah it's take, okay take the goddamn time no fine. one's judging you to take and you tums. you take can always instacart time. you can always instacart the toms nobody will know that you're buying them oh, i went to sam's and got like the the super oh, yeah. like, i'm never gonna run out of toms Boom. <laughs> like, Boom. i just think that you need to take you know you you said it and we we got it from jana um when we had her episode every moment is a choice yes yeah. so when that alarm goes off you need to say, okay, this is my choice. I can either keep, e- I can either keep working and wait and use up another hour, or I can just get up, yeah. do whatever my timer says I'm supposed to do and come directly back to work. Like yeah. those, those yeah, are your two life, options. Yeah. So which, which choice is going to get you more mentally in a space where you're feeling good about your decision? Like, is it going to be to ignore the alarm or is it going to be to get up and do whatever the fuck the alarm says and just, just do it. And then you're going to sit back down and you're going to feel so much more relieved because you did what you were supposed to do. Yeah, Cause Christine, if I miss one alarm, it doesn't mean I have to miss all of them. Yeah. Cause yeah, I'm an all or nothing person. I'm like, Oh, didn't take my calcium today. Guess I don't take it all day. Yeah. Fucked up, you know? And it's like, I need to stop being so regimented i also need to stop saying i need and i should and yeah. and start to speak I in i been. am yep, i am doing these things mm-hmm. that's a whole nother ballpark uh mm-hmm. my therapist is just like you what i'm like i am i'm not trying i'm not i am should yeah. i don't need it's like i'm doing and i, I have that a lot of same time issue. That, that zone of all the things like i'm always thinking about what I'm not doing, you mm-hmm. know, I'm always thinking about what I haven't done. And sometimes whenever you do that, it's so hard to be like, but you're doing good. Look at all the, look at all the boxes you have checked. Yeah. It and instead counts- of looking at all these things you're not doing. Yeah. You know? You're discounting all the awesome things you are doing by focusing on all the stuff you haven't done yet. And that's not fair to yourself. Correct. And I, I feel like we should take a second and I want you to name two things that you do really good yes right now right fucking meow <laughs> two things two things yes wait oh. <laughs> i know she has the man well, like, oh, um, yeah, hold on two th- related to weight loss no just general in your life i damn that is pathetic 
damn oh my god I'm gonna cry that is so sad it's, I, it can be hard. It can be hard. Yeah, girl, I don't know. I I have to think about it. And that's the thing. If I ask y'all two things I do good, y'all probably will name 10. If you ask me, I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Because I already know I one. Like you I'm told me that high. you're always hitting your water. I'm always Boom. hitting my water. Done. I think those sonic waters. Mm -hmm. You're always getting your work done. Yeah. Boom, I, too. I get my work done. And I try to encourage other people. There's oh, a three. I uh, try. You do. Um, I see, see that try word. Shit. I know. I encourage other people. I yes. care about other people. Yeah. Yes. yes, you did it. That was but three. That's so sad though. I'm going to tell no, my therapist. No. I'm going to be like, they asked me on the spot on a fucking podcast. It's going <laughs> to play two things I did good. And I could not name no, oh, that's good. I you should talk to her about that because like I'm happy to hear that you're seeing someone. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I am call. in therapy. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's another one. Do you so, feel like it's helping? It is. It is. Um, I wish that uh she knew more about like weight loss surgery too. Because mm, yeah. in the beginning, I had to do a lot of explaining. But then once it got down to just kind of like normal women stuff, mm. you know, like. The nitty gritty. Every woman can relate to self-image issues yes. and to an extent body dysmorphia. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of getting her up to speed with um where you know at. the reality of weight loss and mm -hmm. that it's more for me wrapping my head around like the quickness of it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because to think that you could be a completely different person in a year. It's you know, in a year, you could be completely different than mm -hmm. what you've known your whole life. Yep. That's just kind of scary. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of yep. scary. And that's mm -hmm. why, you know, when I was telling y'all earlier about the moment in the mirror, I'm mm -hmm. just like, it's way, it's, it's happening too fast. You know, mm -hmm. like it's, I'm just like, slow down. Like I, I'm, I'm trying to keep up here, you know, <laughs> hey, I'm trying to keep up here and it's like losing. I actually wrote this down to talk to y'all about that's, that's oh, good. I'm okay sorry <laughs> no you're fine take a breath um, yeah you're good the person that I was or am I have my weight has protected me mm -hmm. from a lot of things too even though it was a burden mm -hmm. it protected me like you any any person that's a big girl or a bigger guy like you learn how to like deflect off the fat jokes yep. get to a point they don't bother you as much you learn to like hide yourself mm -hmm. you know you learn to <sighs> not be your authentic self because you feel like you have to be this big grand version of yourself yep. to deserve friendship or companionship mm -hmm. and to let go of that person that has protected me mm -hmm. since I was 14 mm -hmm. is scary yeah because mm -hmm. you had to placate to everyone and now you have to be yeah like, real it's, it's scary mm -hmm. and it's scary because yeah. I'm like three months, 50, you know, pounds. And what I still recognize myself, like my clothes are fitting looser, but I can still wear my things. And so I'm not feeling like it's a complete change, mm -hmm. but that fear of like losing that person. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm like, when I get smaller, am I going to get like kidnapped? Nobody wants to kidnap a big girl. You know, I'm just like, oh, what I happens? used to have that you thing too. Sex traffic I'm now, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I'd be like, I'm like too big to take. They can't do it. You know, like we get so used to being in us, and not everyone, I'm not going to put us, a, we're not a monolith, but being invisible, mm -hmm. you know, and like kind of having your invisibility cloak that you have to just protect yourself or yeah. not being as outgoing and all of those things. So it's like, I'm scared to let go of that. And even though it's something that I've, <laughs> Since, since I've been big, I've been trying to not be big, right? Mm -hmm. So now the reality of it has starting to happen is mm -hmm. like, who who am I going to be? Like, what what am I going to do? <laughs> mm -hmm. I just don't know. I you know, am. It's so, it's so it's so scary. Like, yeah, you know, it's so scary. And I'm blessed, and I'm I'm thankful for the surgery. But I'm scared because I'm like a year you blink and a year happens. You yeah. blink, you know, like mm -hmm. time just flies so fast. Mm -hmm. And to just think that I could possibly lose myself in just a matter of months. So here's my thing with that is you're not losing yourself. 
-hmm. you're becoming yourself. Yeah. yeah. And you are not losing your past. So like they protected you that, that, that semblance of protection that you had over yourself. You need to say thank you and accept that you are grateful that that person took care of you and, and protected you. But now it's time for you to move on. Let it go. You're yeah. not, you're not hating that person. You're not losing that person. That person will still be inside you, but I think you need to like say thank you and start to realize that it's okay. We'll start learning who you are. Cause that's this whole, I, yeah, I told Kelly that straight up. I'm like, you're going to be different. Like, it's just going to be like, it's going to take you three months, six months. Mm -hmm. I'm like to figure out who you really are. Cause like, yeah, I've been a big girl my whole life. I know exactly what you're talking about. You mm -hmm. put all these shields up, you put all these like defense mechanisms mm -hmm. up. I don't want to get married. I don't want yeah. this. I don't, mm -hmm. You know, all these exactly. lies. I don't want, want a boyfriend. Them. Like, oh, no, yeah, I don't no. want a boyfriend. Want We're just friends. Thing. I don't think he's cute. You know, yeah. like we'll just so be friends with benefits things. forever. Mm -hmm. Like you'll never mm -hmm. actually have that relationship. No, you do. You have to figure out who you are really are. But like, I learned because my mom will be like, oh my God, you just look so different. And I'm like, I know that I look different, but morally, I'm still the same person. Morally at the, morally, at the center. At the yes. core of you will never change. It's the look of you. And then the confidence it's going to build. Like, I cannot wait to see your confidence just go like through the roof. Cause yes. you know, it's going to, it's just yeah, it started. Y'all have seen them pics on my gram. Now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, I finally feel like taking pictures again. Yes. Like, you know, can you can you take a picture of me? Actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No more me taking pictures of you. Can you take a picture of me? Because uh -huh. I would like to have it. Absolutely. I think I really resonate with what you're saying because I being stuck in bed, the food was definitely a protection for me. I didn't have to come to grips with the fact that I was. 20 in my twenties, sick and unable to get out of bed. Right. Right. And so that was my protection. And when I lost that, like that, that went away instantly. And I was like, Oh, what do I do now? Mm -hmm. What, what do I do? What am I supposed to do oh, shit. when I don't like, I don't, I don't know who this person is. And I mean, going again through, you know, I'm, I'm, I was starting to come to grips with it and saying like, okay, thank you. Thank you for what you did. Like, you know, yeah, it sucked, but you had courage to go and get that surgery. Yeah. And then, you know, with the divorce happening again, I'm changing all over again. So I'm yeah. literally like, as you're talking about this, like it's resonating with me because I'm literally going through that right now. Yeah. And it's just a different view. Like I'm not the weight, it's not the, a part of the weight loss anymore. It's more of like my entire life flipped up and upside down. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I don't know who I am. Like, I don't know what I like. Right. Melanie, you mm -hmm. know, the question of the two things, I did it to what her did you, too, yeah, by the way. she did it to I me. It wasn't just you. I, did, I fucked with her a little bit too. And I was yeah. just like, name two things that you like, that's like quirky about yourself, different about yourself. Yeah. Like what, there. what are two things that you really, um, that's really big in your life that you're really, that you really are passionate about? Yeah. And it was me? like, no, that's why no, that's what her. she asked oh, me. Yeah. I was like, don't do it again. Yeah. Don't do it again. No. <laughs> um, and I literally did the same thing you did. I'm like, yeah. um, so you're in headlights. Yeah. I don't know. And it shows me you guys just need to be more in tune with yourselves. Talk to yourselves, like yourselves. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah. guess what? You only get you guys. And you guys are pretty cool if you don't know. Like, oh, yeah. Thank you. FYI, you guys are great people and you guys are just really hard on yourselves. And that's mm -hmm. how I know that you guys will both be really successful is because you're so hard on yourself and you're not going to give up. Mm -hmm. But like, don't be so hard on yourself to where like the negative talk takes over. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. it's the one that we need to take away is like every negative comment you say about yourself, you need to do like, what is it? Up to three. Five? Positive. Three. Oh, three positive. Yeah, like three, positive three positives to get that back. So if you say, oh, I look fat in this outfit, then you have three positive things you have to say. Mm -hmm. My hair looks good. My makeup looks good. I'm in a really good mood. Yeah. Those are three things. And as soon as you say those three things, that, that comment in the beginning goes to the back of your brain. Yeah. You got to train yeah. yourself, but you're in the training. I, I do need to get better about the, 
I need to stop saying I need, damn it. Yep. I am going to get better about negative self-talk. Yeah. I am yes. going to stop talking to myself so crazy. Good. Um, I am going to transition from nice, nasty to just nice. Oh, <laughs> just nice. Tonight. I mean, you can be firm with yourself. You can yeah. say like, yeah. today I am going to wake up and I'm going to have this meal. I, mm-hmm. or I'm going to have a protein shake. And I'm going to drink it all. Yeah. Um, that is being firm with yourself and setting up boundaries. I would with say yourself. boundaries. Set mm-hmm. boundaries for yourself. For yourself with yourself. Mm-hmm. Like you are not going to do this today. Well, and okay. I know some girls on their mirrors, but I don't know if you like, what's the main mirror that you use? Oh, those being Mary Jane sticky notes. No, no. Just like a, just, in, like a expo. Like writing with an expo. Writer. Writer. Yeah. yeah. And just and every day, write three things you like about yourself. And if you can't think of three, do one. Just at least something. Do one. So like your smile. Like it doesn't have have to be. You have a very bright smile. I thought I was like, (laughs) you have those those pearly whites over there. Those fucking teeth. It's amazing. (laughs) But yeah, just little little (laughs) things, man. Because like my husband, I got this from Kelly. It says, you're my sunshine. And I just put it on my, on the Xbox. And he's like, what's up with that over there? And I was like, but you're my sunshine. <laughs> he's like, he's also, I need to see it every day. I'm all, you need to remind it every day. Like, yep. I think we all need a good reminder that yeah. you are someone's sunshine. Yeah. So like, cause I'm sure your boyfriend that you're moving to in four fucking days oh loves you for who you are. Yeah, That's a he's huge awesome. change. And he's I'm guessing awesome. he's being supportive. Am I right? He is. No, he's being super supportive. I am. I, I do worry about not that the support changes because we love each other. Like this is the first time I've been in like love, 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 love. That's, equally, that's equally reciprocated. Yeah, you know, that, that's the operative uh, term. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's all like, "Yeah, whenever we we're gonna we're gonna walk, and we live like by this, or we're gonna live by this big pond." He's like, "We're gonna walk around the pond, and I'm gonna diet with you because he wants to lose like 50 pounds, and he's gonna like, deal with you." And that's fine. The only thing that he's been getting on my nerves about is when I went to go visit him, he was eating my diet snacks, and that shit was pissing me off. <laughs> I'm like, "Lockbox, man!" Like, hey, bro, yeah, I'm like, oh, and I and he's like, You're like those cornbread fed." big country, you know, six, five. So I'm just like, oh man, the cost to feed a man like that must be yes. the roof, Jesus Christ. And I bought these cheese sticks that are from Boar's Head that are so good. They were oh like, oh my God, cheese sticks. they're so good. This man ate all of my cheese sticks. Oh, I'm like, yeah. all of them. I oh, was like- only there for like 10 days, <laughs> meaning that he had to eat a cheese stick mm. every day. Every and single like, day. Don't fuck with the girl's cheese sticks. Don't yeah. Fuck with my cheese sticks. Yeah. Like, and yeah. my protein. Or, shit yeah. Or, yeah. Or if you do eat them, you need to buy another package. Yes. And, and I'm, but he's like, we're going to go to Sam's and make sure you have everything you need and your protein shakes and yada, yada. And I'm like, that's fine. And if you like Premier, just, just buy you some too. Like, don't, yeah. do I don't want to reach to go for a protein shake and it's not there. It's like, I need these. I don't even like these anymore. I need them. Like, yep. please. Yeah. It's more a yes. necessity than the fact of like liking the taste. Cause I went through that phase of like, I don't give a fuck what it is. Just give it to me. Yeah. I guess exactly. it's protein. That's where I'm at. I don't care. That's where I'm at. It's like, I don't care at. what I'm eating. Like I just read the label. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. don't have a bunch of carbs. Got some protein in there. There it shit. Boom, done. It's like, okay, tuna packet. Let's go. It's like tuna packet. Grab some cheese out of the fridge. I'm like, you dinner. Know Good night. Story. <laughs> so, so side story about this, the tuna packet. So you know how much I don't like tuna. Like, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't Should like really. Like, no. Nope. Right. But like, I was at that mode where I'm just like, I didn't care. And I was like, babe, maybe I might like it. Let's just see. <laughs> It was so bad. I was like, God damn it. And he's like, what's wrong? I was like, I want to like it. It is so gross. And he was I like, stop it. eating it. I was like, I know. I love but tuna. I wanted I to like tuna. it because you could just literally just eat it out of the fucking packet. Yeah, but you can do that mm. with freaking chicken. I know I do that with chicken now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but and to what you were saying earlier about meal prepping. Mm-hmm. I think where I'm falling off is when I did it before, it's like you guys were saying that you feel like you have to do it for the whole week. And I'm someone who likes variety. So when I was meal prepping before, I would literally all Sunday be cooking all day. I think that I'm a little triggered about it and just like, oh, I don't want to cook all day. No, no. Maybe I'll just like cook some separate stuff to where I can like 
make because I think you talk about like just doing some chicken in the crock pot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I have the recipe on our IGTVs and okay, okay. you can change this chicken to whatever flavor profile you want. So okay. I do. Yeah. So you just do like you could do teriyaki or mm-hmm. you can do barbecue sauce. Like the barbecue sauce one is bomb and salad. Like mm-hmm. just FYI, um, you can prep it ahead of time and you can even do with some vegetables. You can eat it on its own really freaking good. Yeah. Um, but I think like your meal prepping should probably be, what are three things I can eat through the week? Yeah. Just, yeah. Or maybe like one pan meals. Like if I, I saw someone say that, that, that cooking is a lot less daunting whenever you can just do it all in one pan, Mm -hmm. because it's also like, you know, my boyfriend doesn't like to wash dishes, but he's one of those people that likes to use every last dish in the kitchen when he cooks everything. like Kelly and my husband. Jesus. Just like, and then we want to leave it into the person. sink until it becomes a fucking science experiment. Yeah. Oh, that like, was me. Well, I'm not touching that. Like, that I, I don't even want to day. touch that. Yeah. <laughs> like, but I was just eating food in shit. one pot, like yeah. stuff that I could just do in one. I, like I had my fly, family. Yes. Scramble. You know, yes. something's quick. I had my family over last Friday and I did not do the dishes until today from that. Yeah. yeah. So. <gasps> that's me oh, I'm so um, but I feel like if you do like so if you like the canned chicken so like there was one stand plan I did where it was like I picked three things but it was like a little amount of those things and it was just a just enough that I could say okay I'm going to take two spoonfuls of that and I'm gonna eat that so like I really like egg salad sandwiches but I don't, I don't have the, the, the bread. bread. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I literally just bought the pre-made or pre-boiled, pre-peeled eggs that they just have in the store. And I just chopped them up in a little container, mixed it with the mayo and everything else, put the lid on it. It's in the fridge. It, it's yeah. done. You, yeah. It doesn't need to go into a separate container. It doesn't need to be for six weeks. Like just, just make like three eggs. And yeah. you're saying, okay, well, yeah, keep it. Simple. I have that option. Keep it simple. Super simple. Let me, Michaela... let me tell y'all how I made egg scramble on Sunday. Cause I was, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, I'm going to meal prep so I can have this. And egg scramble is very quick and it's very mm-hmm. delicious. I love and I can scramble. put it on a low carb tortilla. It'll be yep. good. I can put it on a piece of solar bread. Mm-hmm. It'll be good. Like you can, you can get it popping. Mm-hmm. I made egg scramble. Okay. My dad is in trucking. Why did he take my egg scramble to oh, mother no. Arizona? Oh no. I was like, oh, and I said, Lord, <laughs> see, I tried. I oh, literally no. tried to milk prep. You did. I you tried did. this. It was too good though. Yeah. You know, and, but th- that's Your the thing fault. when I made it, I was like, <laughs> do you want some? And he was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, it's so good. And I'm like, okay, you want some more? I gave him more of it. I'm like, I can barely eat anything. And I made a bunch. So I was like, I'm not even going to be able to finish this. So have as much as you want. And he took that as have all of it, have all as it, much yeah. as you want. And yeah. I want all of it. Well, you know? you call- so labels, whole container. labels on the top. Yes. Christine's touch and die. Touch and die. I mean, I was you don't, so I was you so don't eat people. You don't eat a girl's cheese sticks and you don't eat a girl's scramble. With, don't eat my scramble. Yeah, don't don't, my don't touch it. Don't drink my just, protein shake. Just, just back the fuck all off. Of a, all of a sudden, my dad loves spare life. So he's 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 drinking oh. half my shakes down. I'm just like. We're trying on everybody to fair life. I love it. I will kill you dead. I will oh kill my you God. dead. Can you, can you, you this is expensive. Number one, these are, these are pricey. Okay. Yes, yes they are. Number two, I, I just need these. So please. And he's one of those people, you know, old people have no sense of freaking nutrition. My dad's version of being healthy is instead of eating two plates of white rice is eating three plates of brown rice. Cause it's brown. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, that that's not how this works. So like Lord, he's drinking, he's like, can I have another one? We'll drink a whole fair life shake and be like, that was really good. Can I have another one? I'm like, it's a meal no, replacement. You are and done, sir. Like two. <laughs> <laughs> the protein um, does not add up. What? Exactly. <laughs> you can only process so much what? protein at once. This is Just waste. Like, yes. <laughs> Wait that 30 minutes. Yeah. Yes. Put the timer on like I have to do. <laughs> um, <clears throat> question. What is all in your scramble? Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. So <laughs> much you know me. Really good. I did red bell pepper, green bell pepper. Yeah. Red onion, okay. a little bit of paste salsa, 
Mm. some cilantro and some low sodium turkey sausage okay and then we're I not too far it. apart all right oh it was so good oh, yeah it, it would have been so good this morning but I made um I made a pesto egg uh this morning instead once I found oh. out that my good to what is soda. that excuse me what is Woo! a pesto egg let me put y'all on see tiktok these little kids on tiktok they are onto something they're coming up with some shit I'm telling you love it I love so, it so um please share my, my mom, she makes like pesto by the jar. So just get you some pesto. I can't tell you how to make pesto. Like, I'm sorry. I, I know but how to make just get some right pesto. Man, and then you put it in the pan, like put like a little bit of, I use can't believe it's not butter. Okay. And then put uh, like two tablespoons in the pan and you kind of just spread it out, mm -hmm. crack an egg right on top of that. And then put the lid on there. You don't even need to put salt or pepper in it because the pesto has so much flavor. Yeah. It was so good. It was That's so all you do is put the lid on. So you cook. Just put the lid on until, you know, the if you want it over easy, you'll uh -huh. do it for about a minute. If you want it over medium, about a minute and 30, 45 seconds. If you oh. want your egg all the way cooked, you're a barbarian and you probably shouldn't make this recipe. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I like mine over hard and I don't give a fuck. Oh, over no. Hard. Over hard. hard. How, do you, how do you eat your steak? How do you eat your steak? Uh, medium or. Uh, okay. Or I thought your ass was about to say, well done. I was about yeah, to say, it's just an egg. It's just eggs. Just freak get me. a burger. Eggs freak me out. You have to be fully done for it, me. If you know it's egg all about hard, that, scramble it, girl. Ain't all no about that, yo. I have six fucking chickens. I want them all done. No, it's <laughs> all about <laughs> that silky smooth yolk that is in oh, it's that perfect. Egg. You it's break perfect. it open and it like spills over it's everything. Perfect. And I'm trying to uh, find I'm like to whatever the healthiest uh, oh. English muffin is so I can make a Benedict. Oh, uh, and then I did find a recipe thing. because, you know, um, hollandaise sauce can be pretty fatty with fatty. all the butter, but I found a recipe for some Greek yogurt hollandaise sauce and it was, yeah, it was bomb. Have so, you tried it? Okay. I tried it. I just made it and I had it over an egg, but I want like the whole thing. So whole I want thing, to find yeah. what the best English muffin is. Okay. You know, so that I can just meat. at least have one half, like, yeah. So makes the best, or if they make like a low carb English muffin. Here's a hack for that. Just do it on the ham. Just do it. On... Yeah, I, I know you have divorced bread, Kelly. I know that you have. I like bread do, in the past. I do eat bread and or cut out a piece of tortilla. Oh, like a low carb tortilla. Okay, okay. Make it just or like maybe um, that protein, like they make uh, these protein wraps at Aldi. And they don't have that many carbs in them. So oh. maybe if I use like cut out like a little circle. Uh -huh. and, okay. And, and then, then I also saw puff it. buns. Um, what are puff which are those like buns? keto buns? Uh, oh, the cloud cloud bread. Yeah, those whatever. cloud buns, but they're yes. not keto because they're not. Well, they're they're keto because they put keto on everything, but yeah. they're not heavy in fat. Like it's only like a gram like or so in fat. I'm also thinking. Okay, so you've probably heard our devotion obsession. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. so you can take their buttery blend and okay. make a biscuit. You can Ooh. out of it. Yeah. Is that on your stories? Um, I have not done a biscuit yet. I am planning on doing it very yeah. soon. Okay. Um, but it's, it's in there. It's on their website. Um, I did buy carb quick though, too, off of Amazon. I haven't that would work. I've heard good things. Yeah, I, there's um there's someone I don't know if you guys follow her, but when I say she comes through with the recipes, it's um her name is that chick you know. I think there's like an underscore I, under the you and the I no. Feel like I we do. do. I she feel the other like day she posted do. uh a uh, keto strawberry waffle like filled cream cheese waffle, and she uses like all her alternatives she's one of those people that you follow you know whenever you want to cook something that tastes like something that you miss but yeah. make it in a new way like yeah, she's yeah. always finding creative look at her food look at her Hell like mouth open look at her food yes like instantly oh. food porn. yes well, let's follow that shit if we're not um we are yeah, she's awesome and um damn yeah. Like, do, you see that, do you see that French toast that she made? That stuffed French toast? That's uh, at the top. Yeah. Like, fucking what? Listen. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's awesome. The keto pancake. Um, yeah. So, so that <laughs> she's like, yeah, know, follow. <laughs> that chick, you know, if you hear this, 
DM us. Yeah, I'm telling you, no, literally, she's amazing. And she does like demonstrations. I, the first thing I saw that I was like, why am I not following this lady? Like somebody had reposted her making um, a blueberry cheesecake that had five grams of sugar, like five grams of carbs. Oh, shit. Yeah, a blueberry cheesecake. And that shit looks so good. And I was like, okay, we're friends now. And let me tell you, you may not know it, but we are friends now. Yeah. Look at her. Look, look at her and then look at me. She uh, just turned 50. Oh, damn. Good no. for her. Seriously? Fuck yeah, girl. She just turned 50. I DM'd oh, her and I'm like, I've been messaging you talking about girl, girl. I was like, I should have been saying, ma'am. I should have been saying, ma'am. I was like, I'm sorry if I disrespected you. I did not mean to disrespect my elders, but you are a bad D. Okay. Oh, I did I not know. I thought, we, I thought we was classmates. I, think she, I, was, I was like, she don't look a day over the damn 30. Sugar free, <laughs> two net carb cinnamon rolls. What? That's what? what I'm saying. You know, so it's resources. It resources. Yeah. It's a big resources. deal. Big, big, big and, and it deal. speaks to when you want to do something, when you really want something and you want to do something, you'll find a way to do it. Like we don't yeah. have to, I know I'm still in the meat and cheese phase, but eventually once I get tired of it and get yeah. a handle on you know, oh. that's the type of that's the type of things that I want to do like I want to yeah. find better ways to eat the stuff that I like um mm-hmm. and find alternatives to do it you know mm-hmm. because Absolutely. you know I, I would like to ultimately live like an 80 20 life like 80 yeah. percent eating the good things or the new we won't call them good things 80 percent value 20 percent bullshit oh, yeah, <laughs> I, like that. I like that 80 percent on plan 20 percent right whatever I the fuck I, I want, want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do what I want no parents <laughs> yeah no parents um I don't know why but when you like stretch back I want to go boop <laughs> so <laughs> just that could happen at any given time just so be I'm prepared glad for you that warned me. um so I I really believe that when you want like what you said, when you want something bad enough, like food wise, you'll figure out how to do it. Mm-hmm. So like mm-hmm. there was one time I was craving these protein muddy buddies and it might've been 11 o'clock at night and my ass got out of bed <laughs> and made the goddamn muddy buddies mm-hmm. because I wanted them, but I knew that that was going to be a, a better alternative right. than to, just to have some regular ones. Exactly. Right. And so, but at 11 o'clock at night, which everyone that knows me knows I go to bed at seven. So that means that I slept for a few hours, got up and then made money and buddies. went, went mm-hmm. and made money buddies. So like, but I, I don't get up for just anything, but I yeah. wanted that. So I made it. So I think that like with your meal planning, planning, not prepping, yeah, you planning. need to find, and that's something else is we did a, an episode, which you guys will hear soon, uh, with Michaela, yeah, Michaela. losing the blooming. Mm -hmm. And she literally said, I only buy what I'm craving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you're meal planning, you like, when I sit down to do it, I go, okay, what am I craving this week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you want to eat this week? What What do do I want? What do you feel like? Yeah. And I'm like, you don't want, oh, I really feel like meatballs. I, that just sounds really good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to buy meatballs and I'm going to prep those so that I I'm actually wanting the food the food that you're making you'll feel yeah. more satisfied I yeah because it gets I'm not, I'm not a chicken breast and broccoli bitch no no, no. <laughs> no. <Chicken laughs> I need chicken the flavor thighs. where's the flavor Where is yes. it? <laughs> all yes. of it all yes of all it. the flavor that's chicken thighs skinless boneless yes. frozen chicken, chicken thighs, thighs. make them in batches use them for whatever the fuck you want it is so mm-hmm. it, like you can make chicken tacos you can make chicken uh taco pizzas and salads and salads and you can just have it plain like there's so many options Thai lettuce wraps there you Ooh, go that sounds fucking bomb mm-hmm. I I you just plain. add take your chicken add you a pack of frozen stir fry with the water chestnuts and then get you some peanut you can get peanut sauce or just make your own and so it's oh it's fucking the peanut sauce ever. is so goddamn good oh, oh my god delicious. um Here's a, here's one for you. Do the frozen boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Uh, I cannot express enough how they need, how much they need to be skinless boneless because I just bought them regular and I looked in the bag and I almost vomited because 
there's like bones oh, and like these things. Uh, no, no. It, it's it, like a 90 year old man. Oh my God. It's in my freezer and it'll never come back out again. Like it will, <laughs> it will like it found its home. So oh, anyways, um, chicken. yeah, that's, that's frozen you, forever. Yeah. You yeah. don't let it like finish its cycle. No, it's you in its cryogenic it. container now and oh, it's God. not leaving I there. To you guys argue. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyways um so you can take that the frozen chicken thighs and you can put them in the crock pot and then you take the peanut sauce and you put them over it over the chicken and then it cooks in the peanut sauce and then Mm -hmm. when you go to make your lettuce wraps you do your stir fry and everything and your chicken's already like been like immersed in that delicious peanut sauce you make your you make your own peanut sauce or do you i I do pack it pack it all the way I know you can get a easy. packet of peanut sauce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you, if yeah, you go the to the Thai section. Didn't have too much sugar. Cause I'm like, Oh, I can't do that one. I, the one I used to do before weight loss surgery was like this pineapple peanut sauce. Oh, Jesus. Oh, but remember just, oh, just check good. the protein. Like don't, don't like restrict don't wor- yourself. Yeah. Don't sugar. Yeah. yeah. Cause you're not gonna be able to eat enough for it to matter. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Dr. No. Dovek said it like, don't work, concern yourself with calories. Don't concern yourself with sugars. Like, unless, you know, it has like 28 grams of sugar in it, obviously you don't want to do that. But again, you're not, yeah, yeah, you're not eating enough to really, I mean, once you start getting a little bit further and you're eating, uh, you know, more like three or four ounces at a time, then yeah, like start paying attention to that. But I get the packet from the Thai aisle and then do light coconut milk Mm. and you just put them together and then you pour it over the chicken. So I have a I'm gonna have to try that. You. That sounds really good. Yeah. Yes. So has there been anything random that's been happening with you that you didn't expect these last couple months? Anything random? Yeah. I've been more emotional than I usually am. Okay. Um I'm a big crybaby anyway, but it does not take anything. And I've also been a little bit more irritable Mm -hmm. at certain times Mm -hmm. and it's just like I've had to work on that because I realized that it can be something that uh this this lady uh Jan Levan Zant from Fix My Life says is emotionally violent and I'm like I don't want to be emotionally violent no um yeah so I like that yeah just working on my temperament Mm -hmm. because what I am learning about myself, and I think that this was here before surgery, but when things are not going to my plan, like when my day's not going to plan, I get very fucking snappy at other people. I do. And it's like, I want them to Oh, that is so you too, my friend. Oh my God. Like, let's say work picks (laughs) up. All of us, all three of us. Oh, like, let's say work picks up. We don't have a good routine. Uh, emotionally violent <laughs> emotional violence like I inflict so much emotional violence on my poor boyfriend I love you Xavier I'm sorry <laughs> just like I inflict so much violence because I'll get irritated like let's say I didn't hit my walks and then I'm picking up with my ticket so I feel like I can't get away from my desk and then my boyfriend will FaceTime me he's like hey honey and I'm just like I'm working and he's just like, okay, you want to call me back? And I'm like, yeah, I'll call you back. And then I had to realize, I'm just like, you know, it's not fair that anytime I get flustered, I kind of take it out on the people who are closest to me. And it's like, that's not fair. Like they shouldn't, there are certain things that I cannot just put off as character flaws anymore. You know, those things that were just like, that's just the way I am, I, you yeah. know? So what he told me and it enraged me at first but then I was like it's true he was like you don't handle multiple things well when you have multiple things on your plate you get crabby you turn into he calls it a gloomy gus (laughs) he said you turn to a gloomy gus you start (gasps) snapping on me and I'm just like that's so true so I need to get better with managing multiple things but after surgery kind of went into overdrive so like normally I can like mask my irritation mostly Mm -hmm. but now it's like I don't even even try yeah and I think I'm a bit also more outspoken than (laughs) 
no, that's and, and my friends, like they're trying to keep up I, and I love them so much, but it's just like, I'm kind of like, if there's something I don't want to talk about, I'm not like, mm-hmm. for instance, one of my friends, we went to dinner. It was um, my friend's birthday dinner. And like, I'd already looked at the menu beforehand. So they had these like little sushi tacos. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to do those. And I ordered the salad, but the salad was huge. So after if the salad was like, Massive. I'm just like, and I'm looking and I'm just, even before I start eating, I'm kind of like, oh God, because I know I'm not going to be able to make, I'm not even going to be able to push it around the plate enough for the people around me to be like, Christine, aren't you okay? Why aren't you eating? Are you okay? <laughs> and you know, they gave me that kind of like, what was me look? And I just kind of was like, um, don't worry about me. I'm good. You know, and just kind of like snapped on them. And they, uh, they asked one of my friends. And I think the reason I snapped on her is because she follows me on the mm. weight loss Instagram. So, so, she knows. Me, so she had bought up something kind of like to the effect of like, they were kind of asking invasive questions that I just didn't feel like answering. I just wanted to be at dinner. And yeah. I, was like, oh, I really don't feel like talking like that. And she made some little comment like, oh, but you'll talk about it with your friends on Instagram. And I was like, I like them. <laughs> time or place, time and place. That's how I, I, was like, like, time. I was like, I like them. I like talking to them. Yeah. I can relate to them. And it just kind of came off like, bitch, you know? And I was like, oh, well, I, I mean, I feel people. like that was a bitch comment. So yeah, I mean, so I, I, was was like, I, did, I was like, I didn't mean to go off like that. And I then mean, my friends say that like, something certain things like I have a friend I I love her to death that's my girl but she's one of those like flaker friends you know Mm -hmm. that like there's always going to be something that's going on Mm -hmm. um to where like if we invite her somewhere we know that there's like an 80% chance she's not going to come so she she was saying she was coming out the next day and I was like you're not going to call with a sinus infection tomorrow are you and then my other friends were kind of looking like like what the fuck they're like, Chris, you said that? And they even made a comment like, oh, I, you know, that's something that usually she would say, but not you. And I'm just, <laughs> it's like the things that come to my mind, they just come out like word Different. vomit and I have to be like, oh. Well, no. you can't eat those feelings and what your thoughts are anymore. Now you're just like expressing yourself yeah. immediately. Yeah. Like there's not like a huge filter mm-hmm. anymore. Because before Definitely. you would just like, you would just tuck into your food and you would just focus on that. Exactly. While, but exactly. while the emotion passed, and then you'd be fine. Yeah. But you can't, you, you can't do that. Do that. Like you're no, not, di- you're not able to distract yourself enough to, to, to stop the words from coming yeah, out. Yeah. It just, it, it comes out. So I yeah. don't want to be, be harsh, but I, I think I wrote down some things that have been happening. Yeah. See. We love Liz. Yeah. I mean, talking he- about pressure to be perfect. Yeah. What other change have I made? Me and Mel do it to each other. Like we'll snap. Yeah. And then we're like, she has not had protein yet today. So I'm going to give her a, a little <laughs> bit of grace on that. Yeah, get a pass. Or uh, she's been highly stressed, stressed out for the next last day. So she's going to get a pass for that. Yeah. Or there's sometimes where we're both snapping at each other and we're just like, we're, we got to get through this moment and then we're fine. Yeah. Like, See, but y'all are like basically sisters you know yeah. like y'all have been friends so long that it's like it's past the friend it's like no we're friend, we're family it's like you you guys have gotten to that point where it's like you can't even really fall out with each other because your mom's gonna be calling her mom and like ah, girls and that so type nice. of shit yeah. so it's like you have that like oh she's just tripping she'll be all right tomorrow mm-hmm. um it's true. with your acquaintanceships yeah. and stuff like that especially when you're so used to being kind of like a muted version of yourself when you start to come out you know I don't I don't even know if I can blame the people for being like the girl oh, what the damn what did she say oh I'm sorry you know like because it's like you just kind of change or I mean if they yeah, can't and, keep up I yeah. mean and I mean I just kind of feel like get used to it yeah. because you're not going to stop speaking your mind I mean there could be a different tone yeah yeah. you know than the snapping but I feel like so many people get used to you just muting yourself that at now that you're like outspoken I I know you felt this yep when you went through it I got the you are very vocal now (laughs) yeah Yeah. yeah and I was like yeah because like before I wouldn't say anything because like, I didn't think that one, that you respected my uh, opinion because mm-hmm. like as a bigger person, we all know not a lot who respect our opinions. Right. Like they just kind of like disregard it 
or I'd be the quiet one. I would just be the one that told jokes and make people laugh. It was not exactly. anything serious. It would just be like all the little flick off stuff. But like, yeah, they didn't like it. It was, it was weird for them. They're just like, um, is Melanie mad at me? And it's like, no, I'm not mad at you. I'm just gonna tell you. I'm just like, this is just what it is. And they're like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm like, yeah, that's just, that's just me now. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna tell you how I feel when I feel it because if I don't, then I hold it in and then I'll have like a big burst later. Mm-hmm. Or before surgery, I'd eat my feelings. Mm-hmm. I yeah. would eat that anger of like when, if Kelly upset me or Eric upset mm-hmm. me, I would just eat it and never tell them what it bothered me. Mm-hmm. But then it would just happen again in a couple of months because I never fucking told them what bothered me. Yep. So and now like me and Kelly, the relationship, I could be like, hey, dude, that that wasn't, didn't feel good. And she did the same thing to me. Like, mm-hmm. hey, like that was too far. Okay. Whoopsies. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have to learn those new boundaries with people. And I feel like if friends can't, roll with the punches a little bit, then they're kind of not just meant to be in your life. Yeah. Kind of thing. But you know, I think that just I don't even want to take that, you know, take the approach of people not being not being meant to be in your life, even though I know for some of them it's true. Mm -hmm. I also know that change for anyone is a transition and it may take them longer to kind of catch on, especially with like rapid change. Because even now, like I personally feel like my friends think that I'm getting like the big head Mm -hmm. because I'm taking pictures, you know, and I was a selfie taker before, but when I had gained that last bit of weight, like I really didn't take that many pictures. Right. Pictures. Now I'm taking selfies every five minutes and they probably feel like I'm being like self-inflated because yeah. I'm you know, on my weight loss Instagram talking to y'all and right. making videos. And we all know like at the end of the day, like making videos in public, it, it does come off as fucking pretentious. And <laughs> it, 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 it does. It does. It does. Yeah. Like being yeah. in your, hey guys, no, yeah, I'm out with that. Ah, you know, so it's like, they're getting used to that, you know? Yeah. And then- world especially after the podcast you know like I have a a friend that I love her that's that's my sis but like she she's like picking at me for like the Instagram growth kind of like oh "Oh, look at you with your Instagram and oh look at you on the podcast and I'm like damn straight I mean I don't know I feel like everything happens is my mom my mom every time every <laughs> every time every time mom i am recording an episode right now i'm gonna i'm gonna answer it hold on hold on oh my god hey mom hey ma what you doing um i'm you're on the podcast right now what so say hi to everybody <laughs> hi hi kelly's mom <laughs> say hi to christine hi christine <laughs> Oh good, it's so good. I We're just sorry to interrupt your scheduled call with Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will call you back when we're done recording. Sounds great. All right. Love, Love you, you too. Say bye to everybody. No. Bye, Kelly's mom. <laughs> <laughs> so good. All right, I'll call you when I'm on my way home. Okay, bye. I love it. Moms are the fucking best. They are. Like, they they are. are. They're the best. My mom is like top level Hands she's down. like next yeah. level mom like yeah. she, i mean she raised four kids all on her own went back to school Damn. at 30 36 got her degrees got her degrees went to a four-year yeah like she's, she's balling yeah she's so on awesome. it so yeah nice. she's she's and she's so supportive like yeah every time i tell her that something support is so that support is so important and that's why honestly i'm so happy for y'all you know like to have y'all you know, Mm -hmm. and to have the people, like, just to have people pour into you Mm -hmm. is just so important, you know, Mm -hmm. like, people who would tell you that you're doing okay, and people who will tell you that, you know, when you're doing bad, it's okay, you Mm -hmm. know, and people who genuinely care, it's so important, like, I, it's, I can't imagine doing it without it, like, oh, good, yeah, I can't, okay, so, um, there is a huge fucking spider over there and I need it to die. What are you doing? It's it's on the wall. It's all, I can see it. Like it's not even near you. What are you talking about? Male's husband. <laughs> Where is the spider? It's 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 on the wall. 
Okay, well, that's so far from I, us. I just... Well, we need to wrap up anyway. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm, <laughs> present. I'm present, I'm present, okay. I'm present. Okay, I'm present, sorry, I'm sorry. What would be the <laughs> one thing to wrap this up nice and tightly? <laughs> two things. One, what would you recommend for anybody that's around three months? And two, mm-hmm. what do you look forward to the next three months? Mm-hmm. Um, What I would recommend to anyone who is three months is like you guys were saying, be don't be so hard on yourself if you found that you are losing that enthusiasm from the beginning i'm being told that that is perfectly normal that does not mean that you're going to fail on your journey it does not mean that you're going back to your highest weight and that this is just going to be another failed weight loss attempt it means that you're a fucking human being yeah with emotions ups and downs who makes mistakes And there's no mistake that's too big for you to come back from. So if you are falling off Mm -hmm. and you're finding that you're doing some of the wrong things or not making the best choices, it doesn't mean that you have to continue doing that. At any point you can stop and your next choice can be a better choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every moment is a choice. Yes. Yes. That's my advice for them. Goals I have. I'm going to uh, Maya Riviera in August. So my goal is to look like a bad bitch in my swimsuit. You, um, you look like a bad bitch in your swimsuit <laughs> now. Period. I'm yeah. <laughs> um, also, my goal would also be to have more structure um, okay. in this process and to start to meet my fitness goals the all right fitness goals remember yes. last time I was talking about my girl the crunchy sleever and how I wanted to be lifting uh-huh. by six months that process should should not should be it will, it will be. be started not should will it will be yeah and we're gonna start small and we're yeah. going to start small you don't have, have to like start weights in my trunk and my first goal is to Trent, they've been in my trunk for like two years. I'm going to take them out of my trunk. Get them out. Get them out. I mean, at this point, they might have like found their home. So be ready to transplant them. Like, um, and I would say don't move them out of your trunk until you like move. Yeah, that's probably for the best. They've, yeah. They got that's their days. home now. Yeah. 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 Let's just leave them where they're, they're comfortable. Once you get, you know, you move and you get settled, then you can... <laughs> I bought them at the beginning of COVID. (laughs) Oh, that's funny. I bought them when you couldn't find weights anywhere. I bought bought them on Facebook Marketplace and I never took them out of my trunk because I was like, I have to sanitize them. It's COVID. I'm sure they're good now. Since (laughs) since March 2020. (laughs) That's hysterical. That's hilarious. That's really funny. I love that. Okay. So we will ask about the, uh, how the weights are doing next time. For yes. sure. And we want to know what, how you've changed your meal planning. Yes. Yeah, so your and, structure. Yeah. Um, you're tagging us in your filled vitamin container. We did not tonight. make it. Tonight. That's I'm, when we get off yeah. this call, I'm going to fill that thing. I'm, I'm going to get it. We love it. <laughs> well, Christine, we appreciate you for being on. We yeah. love you. Yes. Such a great three month check in from yes. you. Yes. And Thank you. Just know everybody. This is how it works. It's up and downs. Can't always be people. Up and down, all the time. Yep. And this Ebbs is real life. Yeah, you're human. Yes. You're and human. you are not alone. You no. are not alone. The feelings that you are feeling are not just you alone. No. And yes. anytime uh, you, Christine, or anybody else out there listening needs a little kick in the butt or a little pat on the head or a little virtual hug, we're here. We are yes. here. So. And just because, just because you may not be a model weight loss surgery patient does not mean you can't be a successful one. Okay. Exactly. Spot on. That's the way to end an model, episode. But you can still be successful. But uh, yeah, I yes. love that. Yes. Can you start writing these down for us? That would be fantastic. Oh, these like little proverbs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then just the Nigerian them. proverbs. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yes. I love it. I absolutely do. All right. Well, we uh, are so grateful for you to coming on again, and we cannot wait to hear all about your success. It's so exciting. Thank yes. you guys so much. All right. I love y'all. Love we you love you. Too. Bye. We'll talk soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.
All right, nice. that was Christine. That was Christine. Yes. Oh we, my God. I love her every so time. Much fun. Every time. So much information. And she's just like another like girl, like just like chick. I don't know how to explain it. Like a, like a girlfriend. Uh, yeah. We get say. on and we just chat. Yeah. Like it's not a structured call. No, it's just us hanging out and having a conversation about weight loss surgery. So fucking quick. And about all manner of things. All the things. Because, you know, we have to talk about all those random shit That's while right. we are recording. That is Side right. stories are our specialty. Hell yeah. So yeah. we appreciate you guys for listening. Yes. And if uh, you want to watch this, of course, where do you go, Kelly? You go to patreon.com forward slash OSLP and you pick a tier and anything above $10. $10. You $10. get all of the videos. All of them. If so, you have a five dollar, you get all the check-ins. Yep, yep. And then the first dollar just gets the new episodes a couple days early, mm-hmm. and then all Patreon meetings. Yes. So that's kind of we have different levels. Which we, we do the Patreon out. meetings once a month. Yeah. And if you are a part of our Patreon, you will automatically get a uh, invitation sent to your Zoom uh, or your Patreon messages. Yeah. So check there. If you don't see that, then message us. But always check your Patreon first. That's so. right. Well, thank you guys, and we appreciate you, and we will see you next time. Bye.